Hey guys, so uh, this is day two. It is Friday. Uh, today's what, the 10th? November, yeah, November 10th. Yeah. And today is going to be a, a filled day. Uh, the Knights and the Valkyries, Diego Robin, she's here, right? Uh, we got True Onyx in the back. There's Trap Lord, Jerron. Who else is back there? Oh, and Delta um, Halo. And uh, Ian's driving. We're, st we're still waiting for Poe and the rest of these guys to get down. We're going to head back over to the venue. Today's um, tournaments is Smash Brothers, uh, Tetris, and Mario Kart. So while those guys are going to be on the virtual battlefield, you know, playing and enjoying themselves, I am going to be meeting up with Walter and Todd. Um, that's going to be about it today. It's going to be a full day. We'll see how that works. And then tomorrow is the induction day. You ready, Robin? Huh? You <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see you guys at the venue in a little bit. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin is better than The Rock. I know. <laughs> that was a fact. Before you know it, that's not a fact. It's actually not a fact. Stone Cold Steve Austin, when it comes but, to. But, but, but. <laughs> When it comes to wrestling, one of them. Is when it no, no. When it comes to when it comes to wrestling, no one is really better than anyone because it is, it is scripted entertainment. So someone can write who's better than who. However, if in a real fight, in an actual real fight, Kurt Angle is better than all of them. Right. <laughs> Arcadia, any real or imaginary place offering peace and simplicity. For people like me we find that peace in the arcades. Here we can connect with each other through a love we all share, regardless of age, gender, or ethnicity. Whether we play to watch games for entertainment, self-improvement through mastery of the game, or as a profession and sport, the arcades have been the cornerstone and foundation to the culture of gaming. I am grateful, and I give my utmost respect to the man I personally thank for bringing form to this culture. His name is Walter Day. Made it into an organized competitive sport. And kept records. Kept records. And made, made rules and crowned champions. And so it put a tumble on the map as being the birthplace of organized competitive esports. Wow. And now, all these years later, the people of the community want to do something about that because it's such an unusual legacy. Yeah. And so they're starting this party and organizing this place so that. Ah, I goofed. So that they. Uh, and keep the legacy of Twin Galaxies and Tumblr moving forward. And so, like, this man came from Jamaica. He's the world-famous video game player and one of the modern champions and leaders of what they call the eSports industry. And he's here to kind of, like, document all this and help move it forward. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's so, great. Uh, so it's a pretty amazing process. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. It's amazing well, to watch I, it happen. Well, you can see. Isn't there triforce? These guys are really putting this place on the map. You can see how how much some of these kids are into. Oh yeah. The games too. Not just kids. <laughs> oh no. A lot of these people like triforce. I mean, he, despite his youth, but he actually is 73 years old. So, uh, <laughs> just kidding. That's one million three hundred thousand. I've already crossed a million. A million three hundred and eighty-six thousand right now. All right, so you know what these are, right? Hold on, let me get on the other side of it. So these, Jerron, are the original six games, right? That was used for the Life Magazine photo shoot. For Life Magazine, right? Yeah. You mentioned that. Uh, so it's Donkey Kong, Centipede, um, Two Tan Con, Calm actually, Two Tan Calm, Miss Pac-Man, Defender, and then Tempest. 
I used to watch probably some family members play centipede. I get body <coughs> really badly. But uh I don't know how they we'll play how they centipede through. like that, man. Yeah. And Ben go They knew play. they they got through the game. Uh this I, I partially remember as a kid, uh Fender. They're really difficult for me. Uh have you ever played Pac-Man before? I played Pac-Man. My favorite Pac-Man game is actually Junior Pac-Man because of the challenge. It's really, um, one thing I like for the game is of course the challenge. It has to be really difficult for me to really like catch interest and really play it. So Pac-Man Junior would be one of those games. Um, Pac-Man. Alright, listen. Triforce, these things happen. Somebody just showed up. They need an autograph. All that silly fancy stuff. These things seem to happen to me, in case you didn't notice. So, you watch this, I'll be back. Okay, record game on pause. Alright, sir, well, you know, we had to do our pictures, our fanfare, this stuff happened. I had to have a change of wardrobe, too. All right, whatever we're doing here, I'll see if I can figure it out. The launch of the Video Game Hall of Fame has lied dormant for three decades. For 35 years, the small town of Ottumwa, Iowa has struggled to preserve its fragile history against the ravages of time. Despite the limited resource and support, the founder of Twin Galaxies, Walter Day, spent half his life creating a platform that would recognize gamers' accomplishments and enshrine their contributions. To do this, he established a skeletal infrastructure that turned competitive gaming into a sport. Over time, the generation of players that grew up with him and competed stood the course and supported Walter. The legends championed the cause to help establish competitive gaming as a sport. This influenced me and my generation to carry the night line and keep it true. Now on the eve of my induction into the Hall of Fame, I bear witness to a third generation and understand that it is now my obligation to get back to today's players that's how Walter's generation did for me. That's the finals? No, it's there's not one. Final. No, no, oh. no, 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 it's not finals. Semi finals. She's in the finals now. Oh, you're in the finals, so you're waiting for someone to come back out. Oh, good job, good job. Okay, guys, here we are at um, Galaxies of Gaming um, event here, and this is Mike. Mike, yeah. Mike from GameStop, and then here is your winner, Chris A, for the Madden 2018, and your runner up, Valkyrie Robin. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the, the tournament. Uh, what's your thoughts about the tournament and how you feel winning the, the Madden 2018? I only won by one, you know. <laughs> one point? Was, yeah, only one point. It could have gone either way. Well, what, what do you think about your competitor here? That was hard. It was hard. It was really hard. Uh, oh. I thought she was going to come back when she made the kickoff return. And I thought she was going to win. So um, you said that you didn't want to rush in the fourth quarter because? Um, I didn't want to rush because uh, C.J. Anderson is known to fumble the ball, so I was scared that he was going to fumble it, and she was going to get the ball and just run it down and win. Okay, and Robin, what were your, thought go what were your thoughts going into this match with this gentleman in the grand finals? Well, I saw early on how he was pretty much dominating the whole competition, so I was just like, oh, man, I'm tired. This kid is going to beat me. Oh, my God. But, no, he's um, pretty good sportsmanship, so he played a really good game. 
All right, and and Mike, yes. you came um you came down here to support Atumwa and its gaming roots, representing GameStop here. That's right. And um, what were your thoughts coming down here to support this event? Well, um, it, it's a lot of pride in me being the, the manager of local games, local GameStop, and working in the town that is the video game capital of the world. So it's something that I've been supportive since uh, since the early days. So. Uh, it's really exciting to see it continue to grow, and really happy to help uh, help any way I can. So, okay, will we see more GameStop tournaments in the video game capital of the world later on? I bet we will. I bet we will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Robin, and thank you, Champion Chris. Ah, there we go. Good sportsmanship. Okay, guys. So we're back with Chris again. This is the Madden 2018 champion. And what's your friend here? Uh, Sage. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see you at the Odyssey launch. You yeah. got the hat. All right. Uh, how old are you guys? I'm 17. Or 17? about to be 17. How I'm 16. You're 16. You guys are like the next generation in, in a tournament. So you guys have been here competing. You've played in... What, what games you played in today? All the tournaments. Uh, pinball. Let's see. Madden. Uh, Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. Smash Bros. How you doing Smash Brothers? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you got fifth. I got fifth. It's not that bad. Oh, you got fifth? That's not bad. Uh, and you won Madden. Yeah. Okay, so um, tomorrow there are a couple of tournaments. We have Injustice um, 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and Street Fighter V. Uh, it, do, do games like that interest you? Would you guys be interested to come around and compete? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have any friends? Uh, I have some, but uh, they're not a big Yeah, they don't really person. play games. Yeah, they... They just don't play games, really. All right, man. man I'm really when excited. To, when it comes to Injustice 2, we're not friends, though. Yeah, no, it's I got beat you enemies. On that. No, um, cool. But with the fighting games that are coming, um, I'm a big fighting game player myself. I prefer fighting games. So I'm really excited to get to those tournaments tomorrow. Yeah, I'm more, in, I'm more into sports, like 2K, Madden. So, so he'll beat me at those, but I can probably beat him in the fighting games. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll see you guys here tomorrow for the fighting games. We have a couple of EVO World Champions here. Ooh. Yeah, so you know, a couple of old guys who, who's been in the ring with the big guys. So. Hey, if I beat one, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> probably not, but... All right, but that's the spirit, though. I like yeah. your spirit, man. You, got, you guys got to keep it up. All right, so good job on representing the Tumba um, this uh, weekend. And good job on your championship. I'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Yep, see you. See you All right, tomorrow. later, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> I am back at the hotel. We got the team here. Uh oh, here comes Robin. I knew it. I knew. I knew. I knew it was gonna happen. Look at this, she's blocking off my face. <laughs> All right. So listen, we're back at the hotel now. La this is the second to last day. My battery's running out, so this is a closing thing. You know, look at this lazy guy over here. Look at this guy right there. You're not gonna say that to people. <laughs> look at how he's slowly looking at the camera. Okay. I don't even know if this is even focused. <laughs> Properly, yeah, so he just, uh, that guy just stayed in the bed the entire day. But, uh, but there was nothing going on today other than um, Madden, um, Smash Brothers, and a couple other tournaments. We got second in Madden. Robin got second in Madden. She fought against Chris. You guys will see that in there. Well, you saw that already earlier today. And then um, Trap Lord and um, Black Poldridge in there. <laughs> They, they, yeah, those guys in grand finals for Smash and whatnot, oh, wow, and then some guy called Video Bandit. Oh, yeah, there go Black Poldron, and then some guy called Video Bandit from down there. He's kind of got like a Mario Kart. He's in grand finals with the Mario Kart for with Zoo. So all grand final games um, that happen is gonna happen on Sunday. Tomorrow's the big day. I'm gonna knock out this vlog, take a shower, iron in my suit. And get ready for tomorrow. I don't even know if this battery's gonna go out. It's hey, actually... Triforce, guess what? What? You're going into the Hall of Fame tomorrow! All right, she's shaking the camera. Yeah. Okay. Good night, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not because uh, it's good, not because it's funny, just because I'm Billy Mitchell. Bang. <laughs> <laughs>